with J Podcast. I appreciate you all for listening. I got some very sad news today for those in the sporting world. <clears throat> Another NFL player has passed away. This one, extremely tragic, extremely young. Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Dwayne Haskins is now dead at the age of 24 after being struck by a vehicle. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get into this story and then I'm going to tell you my thoughts. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe to my podcast on Apple, iTunes, Spotify. Definitely give me the thumbs up. I appreciate all the support. Let's get into it. Now, Dwayne Haskins is been having an ups and down career in the NFL and he just recently signed a one-year deal to remain with the Steelers just three weeks before this tragic death. Now, the Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Dwayne Haskins has now passed away after being hit by a vehicle in South Florida, according to his agent, agent Cedric Saunders. And this was confirmed to ESPN, and he was only 24 years old. The football player had been in Florida while working out with his new teammates and fellow Steelers quarterback Mitchell Trubisky, who did used to play for my team, the Bears. Um, now, it says the Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin also confirmed that Haskins' death in a statement released by the team this morning. Offering thoughts and prayers to the quarterback's family during this difficult time. I am devastated and at a loss for words with the unfortunate passing of Dwayne Haskins, said Mike Tomlin, who is 50 years old himself. He quickly became a part of our Steelers family upon his arrival in Pittsburgh and was one of our hardest workers both on the field and in the community. Dwayne was a great teammate, but even more so a tremendous friend to so many. I am truly heartbroken, he continued. The NFL retweeted Tomlin's statement, but has not issued one of its own. Now, Haskins signed a one-year deal to remain with the Steelers three weeks before his death, and he would have turned 25 on May 3rd. In January, Haskins was confident that he could be a starting quarterback in the NFL, noting that he got drafted by drafted for that reason by the Washington Commanders in 2019. I am he wrote on Twitter, I definitely believe I have the talent too. I just haven't put it all together yet. <clears throat> he said at the time, according to the team's March 16th statement announcing his return. And that's something I have to do this offseason to put myself in position to play. The commander's head coach, Ron Rivera, also said he is heartbroken to hear the news about Haskins' death while offering the team's condolences to the quarterback's family in a statement shared on Twitter. Dwayne was a talented young man who had a long life ahead of him. Rivera said on Saturday, this is a very sad time and I honestly am at a loss for words. I know I speak for the rest of our team and saying he will be sorely missed. Our entire team sends our heartfelt condolences and thoughts and prayers to the Haskins family at this time. Washington Commanders co-owners Dan and Tanya Snyder said they are devastated by the news of Haskins' death in a joint statement shared Saturday on Twitter by the team. The pair described Haskins as a young man with a tremendous amount of potential who had an infectious personality. To say we are heartbroken is an understatement, they added. Our hearts and prayers are with the members of Dwayne's family and all of those who knew and loved him. Born in 1997, Haskins lived in New Jersey for the first several years of his life before moving to Maryland with his family. After a successful high school campaign, Haskins took his talents to Ohio State for college. Despite being red-shirted his first year with the Buckeyes, Haskins came into his own in 2018 with 50 touchdowns and 4,800 passing yards on the season. He was selected by the Washington Commanders in 2019 with the 15th overall pick in the NFL draft, but was released in 2020. 
The Steelers signed Haskins the following month, though he did not play a single regular season snap for Pittsburgh during the 2021 season. He re-signed with the team on March 16th as the Steelers looked to fill the gap left by Big Ben Roethlisberger following his retirement this January. So, what do you guys think about this tragic and unfortunate passing away of this young man? I mean, it's very unfortunate that he has passed away at such a young age and... Life is just so random. I know people believe in karma and things of that nature, but I don't think he did anything to deserve getting killed by a car in a hit and run accident. Well, it wasn't a hit and run. It says he was struck by a vehicle. Let me correct that. They don't have any more details at this moment. This is breaking news. And this is some of the first reports out. But. I think it's very unfortunate the way life goes. This man is 24 years old, trying to do his best in this life, not trying to hurt or do bring harm to anybody. And now he's gone in a random vehicle accident. And I just think that's just very unfortunate. Uh, he had a lot of potential. He did a great, great thing at Ohio State when he performed and unfortunately, he wasn't able to bring it all together in Washington, but he's not the only one. Nobody's been able to do anything in Washington for 20 years, and Washington has just been a mess. So you can't necessarily blame that on him. And I do believe that he was in the perfect place to possibly turn his career around with Mike Tomlin in Pittsburgh. And he had a year of learning from Ben Roethlisberger and how he worked and different things. And it's just unfortunate that he passed away. Sad news. 24 years old is just so young. It's like a baby in life. You tell a 24 year old that they don't want to hear it. But your life is just getting started. Just getting started. And his life is now over with. And uh, that's just very unfortunate. More people die from vehicle accidents than people realize. And you got to be careful out here in this world because you never know what may happen. You guys let me know what you think about this. Rest in peace to Dwayne Haskins. Condolences out to his family. I'll catch y'all on the next top news story. I'll see y'all later. Peace and I'm out.